Hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. It's 4 p.m. Pacific. No matter where you are and what do you do at that time, even if you're cooking, I would love to see your face because... Our weekly meeting and I do not want to give up just because you're not showing up because you are somewhere there and I know that our lives are busy and things happen all the time but I do not want this to stop us from being able to meet and to go over certain things we had last week we had actually a homework to do and that's what I really wanted to discuss with you who had the homework done and answer the questions, go over this with you today and have another di different homework for today. So I'm going to give a moment, but I will start also with just a general idea what this page is all about. I have created this page thinking that a lot of women, hi, Ita, are you going to join me on Zoom? So we can like have a discussion. That's why I love Zoom because the chat is there and if people coming on board, they can actually put on chat and I can actually see you. Because here, only one person at a time can join if they actually send an invite. So that would be great. I post the Zoom link. Let me see if you're gonna be here, I will admit you to the room. If not that I understand, thank you so much for joining. I have created, as I mentioned, I have created this, this page because a lot of women struggling with, with like the self value, self appearance, like the way how they feel about themselves, uh, especially when, when they get married or even if they're not married, they, they just have things happen in life and they gain the weight, they don't know where to turn, and really the whole life falls apart a lot of times for them. And there are different levels, right? Some people are not married and they're having a trouble. Some people are married and they're having a trouble with just finding the right rhythm and finding the balance in their life. And I believe that if you are not happy with the way how you are, how you look, how you feel, if you don't have that confidence in you, it's going to be hard for you to achieve other things in life. Am I right? Write it down or send me hearts or let me know how, how do you think? What do you think? That that's, that's pretty much what happens. There is something always that is stopping you or sometimes it's the other way around too. Uh, you know, somebody can be mm, very successful in other areas but that part of getting it done and being being healthy and being fit is just not happening so these two elements have to go i believe hand in hand if you are single there is not much you can worry about oh you are actually waiting for me admitting you look here you are okay Hi, Ita. So it's just like you and me tonight. <laughs> She's there. Well, we'll see if somebody's going to join us here. But um, I believe that both people have to, we, we just have to have this in both le levels, correct? I mean, join me because nobody is there so we can actually talk and discuss this. Do you think that both things should be like leveled up the health, how you feel, and then of course the business and being successful. What do you think? Are you gonna join me? Oh, you disappeared, I think. I think I, 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 I lost you for a second. So, so uh, I've seen influencers, I've seen people that have been tremendously uh, uh, wealthy and had awesome businesses, but that, that level of health was not, wasn't there. 
And that always wonders me, like, what is happening with that person? That this person had such a purpose, driven, and yet this person cannot achieve fitness, having money, having resources. What's stopping that person? It's like, and it's so severe, some of them, uh, in a level of, for instance, being being overweight, that it's just, you start thinking like this person can drop any time. Like this is so unhealthy, right? We're talking about if you if you at certain stage when your body fat percentage is so high, you are not even in a in a yellow zone anymore. You are in the red zone. You you can have diabetes. You can have high cholesterol. There's so many health issues going on, right? So I figured, well, I'm gonna be sharing what I know. I can share with you um, how we build the successful business. You can ask me questions. I can direct you with what I know, and we can also exchange the information between each other because I hope that this page will grow, and we're gonna have some other women at the same time. So you uh, just to mention the rules and announcements over there at the top of the page. Uh, I don't want this page to be overwhelming. I don't want this page to be nonstop, some kind of a chat. We meet once a week and that's what it's all about. That's what I would like here. Now, um, at the end, I always would like to do the Q&A and of, of course the homeworks from the previous week. So Ita, if you can join me again, that would be awesome. I would love to go over the homework with you because you are the one person here. We had questions as far as what time did you wake up? What was for breakfast? The three things that you were grateful for that day. Uh, I suggest you to call the people and talk to them and, uh, and, and show the appreciation and being very grateful. This starts your day the right way. What was your morning uh, affirmation to yourself look like like these quotes or sometimes you read something in a book or maybe you're gonna come up with a, an idea like kill the day I don't know like be 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 just go out there and and get clients whatever that might be uh, the brain dump that I talk about it like um, what is the brain dump like I cannot do my meditation I cannot fo go forward with my day if I'm not gonna write the silly stuff that goes into my head like uh, I have to, I don't know, buy something for someone or I have to get something done or I have to buy something on a food list, like silly stuff. I just have to dump it on the paper. Otherwise, I cannot concentrate on that meditation, right? Then what were the three priorities for the day? I don't see you, Ita, joining again. Uh, what needs to happen to achieve the success for that day and move closer to your goal? Those are very important questions. Mm, and the goals, like what are your goals for the month? What is the goal for the, the year, for 10 years? Write those down. Sometimes might be hard. Sometimes might be difficult for you to, to see that. But let me tell you, if you do not write it down, it's not going to happen. And I always go back to this. My vision board was on as a map in America. And I write every single day. I had different books. I have Brendan Bouchard, um, you know, the Daily Planners. I had, I created a book of uh, no excuses for myself and write my goals. Right now I have a 10X calendar from Grant Cardone and I really like it. And those are things that you really need to write. That's my suggestion. What's on the paper is going to come out because you're going to start thinking about it. And out of nowhere, the creative side will happen to you. Then what's the goals for health and fitness, the prof pro personal and professional goals? Those are different things because you, you should involve fitness. You shouldn't involve how you feel. Because if you're going to forget about your health, I believe that all the other things are not going to be as well for you. And health and fitness is priority, right? And then we had the evening success. Success, we had the victories. Uh, have I hit my targets today? This is like a look of the day, like what's happened that day. And it's good to go over this. Because if you want to go back, and every single day you didn't hit that goal, you didn't hit that target, you didn't do anything that moved the, moved the needle, guess what? How are you going to, the, the year will pass by and you're going to be still in the same place. And I know a lot of people like that. 
that they talk and, and, and they never do anything. So don't be afraid to try. Even if you fail, it's failure is better than doing nothing. Failure at least shows you that you try. If you don't fail, you don't even know. And by the way, I miss you all. I know you guys celebrate the Veterans Day and, uh, and that's why you're not here. So um, how did you work on your self-care today? Like this is another important question. Because if you didn't do anything good for yourself, that's, that's, that's lacking. And that's eventually going to kick you in the butt. How many meals did you have? How much water have you drank? What have you done to be congruent with your mission? Those were the questions. Because look, if you go to work and you work eight hours, and then maybe you have a one hour to work something for your business, where is you going to find that magic time? Where is that magic time for yourself, right? Is this magic time going to happen in the evening or in the morning? You need to be very specific about it. And that's what I mentioned as well in the past. Because if you come home and you're going to start doing chores and other things, this magic happen, this magic moment will never happen. So why not to wake up in the morning and do this? Why not to work knowing how your cra crazy schedule is? excuse me, work on this stuff in the morning. Maybe you want to develop some programs. Maybe you want to start a company and you need to start something writing, right? So you need to be very transparent about it and very clear. And yes, get up early. That's it. Sometimes this is the way. I have to tell you, I love the magic moment. And so many times I had moments, oh God, I don't want to get up. But then I get up and I feel better. And then I almost like cut sometimes a little shorter my time of reading. And I have my reading time a little bit later too, because sometimes I get so involved in reading that I will not have time for creation because I love to read. I get so excited about it. So shorter time of reading, getting my brain ready, and then let's go. Right. Think, what is that that you need to do? What are the things, how you can accomplish? Maybe you need to collaborate with people. Maybe you need to call someone today that will help you to achieve that mission, right? What are the priorities for tomorrow? Not only just regular things, like sometimes think about your day. You're going to realize that day after day, you do things that absolutely are not giving you a scaling in your business. They will not move you forward. You will not get any connections and you're just cruising with the same place. And then months later, you are like, wait a second, I, nothing happened. I am just the same place as I was. Nothing absolutely happened unless you don't want it to happen. That's a different story. But if you want the magic happen, go out there and get it, right? So we had these priorities for tomorrow, like professional, personal, like I said, shopping and other things, like little things. But I always say, look, the shopping will happen. You somehow going to fit it in. But the magic time and the reading and the other things, you're going to push it back because this is this becomes sometimes uncomfortable. So if people have to create or they have to start thinking, they just going to push it back till till moment that you're tired and you don't want to do it anymore. And let me tell you, it happened to me. It happened to me so many times that I caught myself trying to get busy with work so I wouldn't actually go and create that thing. How silly is that? But then you start doing it and you feel accomplished, right? Have you done that? I'm sure you did it. Then what did stress you out today? Maybe you had a meeting with someone that stressed you out. Maybe because then, or maybe the kids, because let me tell you, there are things that happen in us and these emotions get stirred up. And then what happens is you're supposed to do something and you're not going to do it because your emotional level is not where that it's supposed to. So you're not going to go and create. You're not going to go and write. You're not going to go and meet with that person because you don't feel right. You're not going to go out and work out. You're not going to go out and, and um, go live in your group or go and speak to someone. It happened. It just happened to me recently. And then I realized, oh my God, I am, I am, I am caught in emotional uh, roller coaster, or I am caught, uh, you, you know, like like our 
you know, dishwasher or whatever, you, you know, something that's going to spiral your emotions out of control. And then you're like, wait a second. Now I don't even feel like doing anything because you are so emotionally drained. And this is awful. So if you recognize this, I am telling you this, that you're going to have a better day. How did you react towards it? I did that purposely because recently I had a situation and I thought to myself, I cannot go live right now. I can't. I, I am just not there. So I gave myself an hour or two. I cleared my head. I took a few deep breaths and then I went because it would affect me. So, so how, you might be thinking, oh, wow, how this fact that it's nobody there, just Ita is here, how this would affect me now. Well, I am just going to keep on going because I, I, I have a purpose. I have a mission and I know that not everybody will always show up, but we we, I will try my best and deliver my best to you. This video will be recorded, posted on YouTube. Then I am going to post that video a few times and ask women to join me. And I hope if you're watching that video later, you're going to be joining me because you got something out of this. And what other evening homework was, what can I improve or done better today? And list A, B, C. And what excuses I used to not to do something today? What excuses? You're going to find yourself that you're causing, creating the excuses yourself. You're going to realize that even the, the example with these emotional things, like you might come from work and you're going to say and convince yourself that you are tired. You're going to come home and you're going to say, I need to do I need to cook dinner. I cannot work out. Well, you can cook dinner and you can still work out because how other people can work out, cook dinner and still be successful and run empires and start, start, run multi-million dollar companies. Guys, we all have 24 hours. Why sometimes other people are successful and others are not? It's just all organization. It's believing in yourself. It's doing, doing the heck out of it. Don't care that nobody shows up. Just do it. Uh, there is a lot of people out there that I met. I met them on stages that do these, these guys started this live video years ago. Nobody would show up on YouTube. Nobody would have done it. Now he has 1 million followers and people listen to him. So don't be afraid. And let me tell you, I am right now, I'm just limiting myself. But if this group is going to be small, I'm going to go out there to other social media because I want to pull people in here. I want women to come here. And if you are a guy and you listen, that's fine. You might find something that it's going to strike you or push you forward because that's what it's all about. I want people to succeed. I want other people to get congruent with their mission. I want other people to collaborate with me. I want other people to ask me questions. I want other people to ask me to speak for them. I want other people to ask me for help. That's what I am here for. And I truly believe in that. So that's what I did that. And this is my good volunteer time that I'm doing it. So there's always something good coming out of it. That's how I feel. That this is not a waste of time. Because so many times I will go and do the live and one or two people show up, right? And it's okay. We're going to go forward. So my, my, my friends, no more, normally we would go over this homework. But topic for today, we're going to go with it. Is uh, you can call it the pledge when people, well, people usually th that would be a, a, a pledge, something that you'd pledge to yourself. You can say, I will, you can call it the creed. You can call it some kind of a promise or belief, right? I put this in writing, but I want you to some, maybe change certain things for yourself or finish the sentence or add things or write your own creed. Write your own purpose, write your own mission, write your own belief. Number one, I take a great care of myself every single day. Number two, I find exercise, staying fit and healthy as my daily priority. Number three, I am strong, powerful, and confident. You gotta have this right. 
Do it in the morning. Look in the mirror. Number four, I have discipline in all areas on my life, of my life. Number five, I will not settle for a mediocre life. This is so good, guys. Ladies, gentlemen, I am not settling for life like this. I didn't travel thousands and thousands of miles over the plane from, oh, Eliana is coming. Awesome. I'll, I did not travel miles, thousands of miles to be in this country away from my family, speaking another language. Hi, Eliana, can you turn on the camera so I can see you? <laughs> I don't <I'm> know. Driving. <laughs> you drive and go. Okay, don't look at the camera. Be careful. I wanted to say thank you. This girl, this girl, Eliana Veras, I want to tell to everybody, she's going to be very successful. She's already successful, but she will be successful because she, she's showing up like Ita is showing up. So Ita, I told you this before. I have a belief in you. She will be successful because she's always there. She has that spark, spark in her eyes that says, I love life. I want more. Come and get it. <laughs> And, you know, we, she's just showing up, look, with her hoodie, you know, like she's just there. And that's what I love about her. That's how she is. So please, whoever is watching this video later, Brandon Bouchard, Tony Robbins, uh, Trenton, what's his name? Hold on, I forgot. Pedro uh, uh, Skulian. We have all these different uh, people that are influencers. Who can tag, who we can tag in the post, Eliana? Who, Rachel Hollis. We love Rachel. I love Rachel. Elena Cardone, Grant Cardone. We can talk about them. Listen up. If you want us speaking, we are here for you. <laughs> yes. Eliana will be speaking Spanish on stage. She will influence the masses because she has so much to offer. But look, we make it fun. It's just not boring. We're just going to be like this, real and, 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 and. You know what? You should have another screen going live with me right here on that No Excuses Ladies Network. But anyway, I'm just going to go back for into the creed for a second. Uh, I have, number four, I have a discipline in all areas on, of, my, of, of my life. And when I said I will not set it for mediocre life, I already did that. Because, guys, I mean... Look, I had a vision, and I know that you have a vision. You have something for you. You want something for yourself. Maybe not fully, but it's somewhere there for you. So don't settle for for little life. Like, just go big. Like, think about the crazy stuff that is in your head. Write it down. I have crazy stuff I write today. And almost when I read this, I am, I'm actually almost scared what I wrote. Eliana, do you have that sometimes? Six, I stay true and faithful to myself and my mission and still be the best wife, mother, and a friend. You need to finish that sentence because maybe you're not married and you don't want to be. Uh, maybe you are not a mom and you don't want to be. And maybe you don't have friends. You don't want any. All right? So you need to finish. I'm just joking around but right now. But just if, Finish that sentence, whoever you want to be for someone, because we have all these different um, roles that we play, right? And I would like to be the best influencer out there for other women. Now, seven, I believe in my abilities to figure things out. Therefore, I do not allow myself to be overwhelmed. Overwhelming, oh, being overwhelmed is a state of mind that absolutely everybody got it. I got it too. I got anxious. I thought that I never had anxieties, but I realized that I had them. I had them when I planned my weeks on sun on Sundays, not anymore. And the only reason is because I've realized that I will do my best, whatever I can. And if something is not being accomplished, it's okay. It's life. And I have to do this because I used to get these so deep tensions in my chest. And, and this wasn't a good feeling. 
I, I, I know that I can figure things out. I know and I believe that you can do it too. That's why I put it there, here in that creed. Number eight, I have a clear vision of my purpose in life and I do not put guilt on myself for following my dreams. You know, this is so easy for people, for women, for anybody, I think. You, you, you want something in life but then you say, you know, but I can't do this because, you know, my family, my kids. And look, it's all about organization. You, 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 you clear, you send a clear message to your family. You say clear message to your kids that, look, I am a student now too, like you are. And I need to put the time to learn. And they will understand that mommy or daddy are students and they want to learn something. They want to like them go to school and learn something. I think this is okay. I told my kids, they are six and nine. I said, look, at 3 p.m. I have a call. And then at four, I need to get out there and show my face. And I need to do another call, okay? And they, they were understanding. Be but before I gave them an hour when we went biking and other things, like I gave them the time and I say to them, I will give you the time, but now this attention is undivided for this. And then my other attention will be undivided for you. But if you're trying to multitask in life, it's not going to work. Raining like crazy, Eliana sent a message. Yes, thank you. Be careful. You there. So dream, follow your dreams. Everybody is so beautiful. Every single person has something unique. Every single one of you. Don't be afraid. Some things I would definitely learn from you. I know this, that some of you have something to offer. I learned so much from Eliana. I learned so much from Ita. I will learn so much from other people. We are not the same. And I think we got to understand that some people are better in some other things in life than us and some others are better in something else. You cannot be all. <laughs> you can't be all. It's just impossible. So number nine, I dream, visualize, plan, and follow through with my action. Action is the only thing that will get you going. If you don't do the action, that's why we were doing that homework. You're going to be stuck. Number 10, I seek no approval. Okay, thank you. I know you got to go, right? Uh, 10, I seek no approval yet respect others. 11, I strive to be, the be to be a better version of myself every single day. You have to go for a better version of you. It, 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 12, I understand success is a journey and, uh, and not a destination. Therefore, I must put on, I have to change the lighting here because it got super dark and I didn't even realize if somebody was with me, I'm sure you guys would have told me that, that it got super dark in here and I'm sitting in the dark. I understand success is a journey, not a destination. Therefore, I must put on the work every single day. It has to be. If you want to achieve something in life, look at this. Like if you are a student at school, in order for you to pass the exams, you got to study. The same here. The same. It's the same. It's all about learning for life. It's all about being a student for life. Don't think when your um, academy, your, your, your school is done, that this is it. You can relax and sit down and be, drink some beer. No. The life goes on and we need to learn. We need to learn more every single day. Life happens for us, for us to learn. Thirteen. I have a beginner mindset and learn new things every single day. I wrote those. This is from me. When I have to learn something or get something new, I get excited. I don't know how you, but uh, being a student for life, this is the best feeling. Number 14, I make no excuses and accept any. Number 15, listen to this. I am confident that I will be adding more to this creed, to this pledge, to this promise, whatever you want to call it, as I get older, wiser, and learn more from those who had done it already and from my own failures and mistakes. Create something, change something, you feel this is good, 
I am happy. I am happy that you got this. Please give me a feedback. I'm going to post this all on social media right now. I'm going to add this to YouTube. Again, no excuses network. Ladies happen every single week on Wednesday. Here is the no excuses ladies page on Facebook. If you do not have a Facebook account, you can join us right here. You can join me on that Zoom that I'm posting right here. Or simply send me a message. 201-925-1860. Write it down that you're interested in no excuses, ladies. Learning, uh, collaborating, finding out new things. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me today. And have a no excuses day. Okay.